Hello, this is Aaron from AaronOnAutos.com and today we're doing our shaky cam interior review inside a 2016 Ford F-150 Limited Edition. Uh, this is the more, I guess, uh, highfalutin, the more upscale uh, version of this truck. Um, it has a lot of goodies and a lot of very pretty interior work. Different than the King Ranch, the King Ranch is more about uh, saddle leather and, and, you know, cowboy up. This is a lot more about uh, refinement uh, for a different class of buyer, different type of buyer. Price equivalent is roughly the same. This one, as I'm sitting in it with delivery, is about $64,000. Um, you get a lot of, of just great doodads for that. So, uh, getting started over here, you'll see uh, Windows mirrors etc are right there uh, here's the window lock um, which is kind of hard to tell what it is just because of the location here's the window lock select the mirror there and fold the mirrors in right there uh, down here's the door locks and memory settings for a uh, seat and whatnot down there is the pedal adjustment moves the pedals back and forth right here is the lighting um, pretty straightforward this is the same in almost every Ford vehicle you get in uh, so you have the automatic lighting is what it's set to right now. And then you can do a few things like uh, fog lamps, bed light, and so forth. Dimmers over here. These are actually running the lights on those side mirrors uh, to shine down that puddle light. So you can see a little better if you need to turn that on manually. Uh, they normally come on when you approach the vehicle with the key in your pocket. Moving along, we get to the uh, steering wheel. So this over here controls what's going on right there on that large center uh, uh, driver information screen. This right here is your uh, cruise control and then you can see these are the adaptive cruise settings. So you change distance uh, outward or inward using this and you'll have an indicator right down there that shows above those that little street right there. You can probably just see it right there. Uh, above that little street there is, there will be a few lines uh, that indicate your distance for to the next vehicle and then when you are close to a next another vehicle you'll see a vehicle symbol in there over here you have uh, volume and radio controls um, so here you have you know volume up and down uh, page through either uh, stations or song selections on your mp3 or bluetooth or whatever down here you have telematics, so telephone, voice control, you'll use this a lot in a Ford with sync. Um, it's very well done in Ford. <coughs> Excuse me. So, very good choice. Uh, get used to having that button. I'm glad it's nice and big and you can whack it with your thumb while you're driving. Um, looking in the instruments here, we have the uh, usual stuff across the top. Uh, so, you know, engine heat and whatnot. Over here you have the uh, uh, tachometer over here you have the speedometer and then right here in the middle is a wealth of information you can see I have put uh, almost 400 miles on this uh, truck over the week and I've averaged 15.5 miles per gallon doing that I have seen as much as 20 miles to the gallon on the freeway uh, so for the first two days that I had it outside of getting out of my little town to the freeway uh, which is about two miles I was on the freeway for the first couple of days back and forth, uh, and in that time, I saw better than 20 uh, on that on that number right there. And then it's gone down because I've done a lot of town driving and towed a trailer and et cetera, et cetera. Paging through what's available here is, uh, so you can flip through and look at things. If I jump to fuel economy, you'll see that my average for a little bit longer trip has been 17.7. Uh, the number you were seeing before is average for the past 30 miles, I believe it is. Might be the last 50. Uh, this is average for the entire trip, uh, I believe. I'll have to look that up. I may be reversing those. I believe actually that this is for the last 30 or whatever miles, and the last one was for the trip itself. I'll look it up and I'll clarify below, but I'm pretty sure that, that I did reverse those. Uh, going back, you can see some other stuff, fuel history, uh, navigation compass, etc. Over here you have your view, so this changes the general view here. Um, so you can set really quick things, uh, off-road status, so pitch and yaw and so forth. Uh, and 
your drivetrain there in the center plus uh, differential heat. Um, kind of useful, but this is not really an off-road truck because with this package you're getting tires that are very street, not very uh, off-road aggressive. Um, jumping around, you can see there's a few other things you can do. You can change some of your gauges. Uh, you can jump to it. You can put a digital speedometer in the middle, uh, things like that. Over here, you can see your towing status. So when you're towing, you can push the tow button uh, that is on the uh, uh, brake controls. But when you plug in a trailer, it should automatically go to towing mode. So if the trailer is plugged in uh, into the trailer lights, then there you go. And then the trailer light setup on this menu uh, allows you to uh, run the lights in sequence so that you can go out and look at the trailer. Uh, kind of useful. Uh, not as nice as Nissan's remote controlled one, but still very nice and useful. This also has the trailer backup and you'll use that trailer setup to do that. Um, so the trailer setup there will uh, set your trailer up for the trailer backup system. There are some details that go with that, uh, stickers that have to be on the trailer for so that the truck can identify it, etc. I'll show you the trailer backup system, but I won't show you how it works. You can probably find a video of that from Ford themselves. Uh, I was not able to do it this week because I don't have those special stickers, but I did do it at a Ford event. And it's kind of useful if you can't see the trailer well out of your mirror, etc, etc. So uh, jumping ahead, here we have uh, some more stuff. Um, for specifically for off-road so you you can look at the power distribution uh, things like that and then this is how you can set things up so you can turn off the lane keeping or you can tone it down so it's a little less aggressive with you uh, <coughs> excuse me you can change the cruise control to regular cruise control if you don't want the adaptive uh, you can also turn on and off all the other stuff uh, all the nannies the the you know, the, the uh, collision warning, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So this is where you will do that in this general settings. I like the menus on this Ford, uh, and I've seen it in other Ford vehicles, but I like this on the larger screen. I really like this menu system, and it's a little easier to use than is the infotainment over there for this sort of thing. So jumping ahead, here we have uh, the vents, and you can see the general dash layout. I don't know why my my camera here is not focusing. This is really annoying. Uh, there's glare. That's part of the problem. So anyway, um, infotainment screen. This is the larger of the of the screens. You can use this to get a 360 degree camera view. Uh, you can turn that so I can look straight forward. Um, I hope Ford doesn't mind. That's a Toyota. <laughs> uh, so see, we're just changing the view, getting a fisheye, etc. Um, that's this button up here. I use it a lot when I've been parking like in this carport here I have to get very very close to that vehicle ahead of me So I've been using the camera just so I can see how close I am and not and not uh, bump anything Traction control on and off here menu system is fairly straightforward if you're used to a Ford uh, Infotainment this is what you'll see on your front screen here. You have apps. Uh, I am not connected right now So it won't do any more than this, uh, but there are more apps to go with this and then the settings over here, you have several things you can do in here. Uh, you can set up a Bluetooth device, uh, jump to navigation, do things like that. 911 Assist uses the truck to let you hit a panic button and have a 911 called. It also automatically calls 911 through your phone when you have a collision. So airbags are deployed. Uh, here is how you do... I think I've shown you this last year in the King Ranch, but this is how you do the uh, adjustments on the seats and then also the seat massage, uh, which this year is much better than it was last year, primarily because they finally started retracting the uh, massage unit when you turn it off so that it's no longer poking you in the back all the time, which was highly annoying. Um, and then you can kind of get an idea of the rest. You can set the display settings. Uh, you can connect to a Wi-Fi. So this would connect like to my house Wi-Fi when I'm parked here uh, so that Ford can do updates and so forth um, instead of using your phone, which is kind of nice. Um, valet mode. Most of this is pretty self-explanatory. I really like Ford's uh, sync system now. Much better than it used to be. So over here, you see we have the uh, four-wheel drive controls, so uh, two high, four automatic, and then four high, four low. Four uh, A is nice when you're just running around a dirt road, so it just engages four-wheel drive when you need it. Otherwise, uh, stays in, in rear wheel. 
Um, I've been using it when I've been driving the dirt roads here in town. Here over here, uh, you have stereo, radio, etc. Down here you have climate controls, um, and then you can see this has heated and cooled seats there. I have the bun warmers on so I can turn the climate off. Uh, heated and cooled seats and the rest of it is pretty self-explanatory. They have gone to a sort of a mode man look uh, for this. Not quite as, as, as uh, uh, simple as a uh, Volvo system, but very close. A little easier to understand what you're doing when you hit those buttons. Now, the trailer backing. So this is the trailer backing system. So when you have a trailer plugged in, you can turn it on like that. And then the backup will show there. As soon as you go into reverse, it will show there. And then you can use this dial to turn uh, the trailer. So if you want the trailer to go this direction, you turn the dial that direction. If you want it to go that direction, you turn the dial that direction. The truck does the rest. You just run the pedals. Um, also here is your uh, trailer brake controls. So integrated right there, easy to grab and use. Then we also have, here's the shifter, we also have self-parking. So this does parallel parking right here. And here's your lane keeping, so you can turn it on and off really easily. Uh, Self-parking in this truck works very well. Um, it works well in all the Fords that you find it in, Fusion and so forth. And it works in this truck really well. I was kind of surprised because it's such a big vehicle. Um, but it's very smooth, works really well. Over here you have a bourgeois cover, and this is the first of the wood you're seeing. Um, I love this wood inlay they did for this uh, limited package. In here you have a spot to stash your MP3 player and, it's, and an array of plugs. Uh, that's a 12 or a 12 volt there, and there's a couple USBs. Up here you have some more plugs, another 12 volt and a 110 or 120. There's also a 120 in the back, and the inverter is under the uh, right rear passenger seat. So if you have to work on it, it's right there, easy to get to. Big glove box, nice little tray right there with rubber in it, uh, so you can throw small things, pens and whatnot, in there, and they won't come out. Um, I really like the look of this dash because, again, I really like the way this uh, kind of light, almost bamboo style wood, I don't remember what they called it, but uh, there you go, is very, very pretty. And it's a little darker over there to offset with the brown that it's next to, whereas it's lighter here to go with the black it's next to. Really nicely done. I really enjoy it. I love this. Uh, here you can see, hopefully... This is the 81st vehicle made for 2016. Here's the VIN number in this limited edition. Very cool that they would do that, even though limited is kind of a broad term because I think they're making a lot of these trucks, uh, uh, you know, in the in the tens of thousands. But it doesn't matter. And then also note the uh, the lighting here. I have it set to an orange color, so it's kind of an amber. I like this color at night because. It doesn't interfere with your night vision. There are also a few shades of blue, green, uh, yellow, etc. You can change it through here. So that's what this ambient lighting setting is for. And then the back, I have the seats folded up. Um, and I left a piece of paper for my daughter in there. But uh, I have the seats folded up. And uh, so you can see there's a lot of cargo space. And then those are good sized and comfortable seats for adults. Um, which is now kind of expected in a crew cab truck. So that's the uh, interior of the limited edition. This has other uh, other things such as the side steps on either side uh, to get up into the bed. It has the rear bed uh, fold down steps for getting in and in and out when the tailgate is open. It has the key fob has the tailgate opening feature on it. Um, this also includes the uh, the toy ramps uh, that attach that are on the side of the bed and they and then you can remove them attach them to the to the tailgate and drive an ATV or motorcycle or something up into the bed this is a short box truck um, but it's been very useful I helped a friend move with it yesterday um, did a lot of good stuff in this uh, towed a trailer was impressed with the towing uh, it has a decent amount of power for a half ton truck towing uh, given that this is the EcoBoost uh, 3.5 liter V6. So very, very good truck. I'm very impressed for the market that would buy a truck like this. This is a very good truck. Um, so there you go. That's uh, that's it for the 2016 Ford F-150 Limited Edition. This has been Aaron from AaronOnAutos.com. Talk to you again soon.